Fish Adventure. We are coming to this place right here. Yellow Dog Eats. We've heard a lot of good things about it. This one that we're going to right now, this is the one that's in Gotha, Gotha, whatever. And they're opening up a new one in New Smyrna, or they already opened it. I can't remember. But the point is, there's this one right here where we are, and then there's one in New Smyrna. So we're not going to that one because that's a really long drive. But um, supposedly they have really good sandwiches. It's supposed to have like a really eclectic atmosphere. So it sounds like it's right up our alley. So let's go check it out. Come on. sandwich like the number one thing so it's uh, pretty plain just pork on a bun see it's drippy very drippy but it's very good not too spicy good stuff I'm trying the, the holy crap which is uh, turkey and bacon and avocado and just a big pile of stuff and I like big piles of stuff Mm, and onions. That is excellent. Very, very good. Alright, they also have some sort of unusual coleslaw. It's very dark. It's got like raisins or cranberries or something like that in there, but we give it a shot. It's very different. It's very good. It's like tangy and everything, just like you'd want from coleslaw, and it's uh, a good pairing with the sandwich. So this is the first time I've ever seen an apple strawberry cider, so I'll, of course I had to try it. As you can see, I've already drank half of it, so obviously it's really good. I like it a lot. Mazel tov. I have a tangerine wheat ale that's on draft here. I've, uh, there's a whole name, I don't know the whole name. Tangerine wheat something or other. Uh, and can definitely taste a hint of tangerine. It's good. It's probably a little too sweet to go with uh, what I'm having, but it tastes pretty good. So um, that strawberry stuff was really good, but this, oh my God, this is way better than the strawberry. So I'm going to demolish this right now. Although not really because you guys don't want to see me chugging a beer. But we also got dessert. It's a whoopie pie. Whoopie pie. So, I'm gonna give it a try. It's a little hard. I don't know if that's supposed to be there, but let's see. Mm. Mm, it's good. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this hard, but it's pretty tasty. I like it. Good stuff. I like the beer better. Alright, so we just finished up lunch here at the Yellow Dog Eats. It was uh, pretty decent stuff. It was good. We had the barbecue sandwiches and he had some other kind of sandwich, which he'll tell you about in a minute. But yeah, I just got the standard, you know, pulled pork sandwich because it was pretty good. Um, and all the other stuff kind of came with like weird toppings. So I just went for 
the basic thing, and I'm glad I did because it was good stuff. I really enjoyed it. And what'd you get again? I got uh, the Holy Crap. You only is... ordered it because it's called a Holy Crap. Yeah, I like to order whatever that sounds the weirdest. So it was piled like really high. It was thick, heavy sandwich. Uh, it was it was outstanding. I, I you know anything with avocado and turkey and bacon and onions uh, and the, the coleslaw was odd, but it was a it was a good a good pairing. We had a moon, not a moon pie. A whoopie, yeah, pie a whoopie pie for dessert. Yeah, um, it was good. It was a little, it was a little dry, but little it was dry. still good. We yep. liked it. And then, um, yeah, those ciders that I had, those were, yeah, top notch, number one. Yeah. Love those. Gonna have to find some of those in the wild because, man, those are good stuff. And the place is really neat. There's like only a little seating area inside, but there's garden seating out back, and then a whole upstairs, uh, and just tons of neat things on the walls and uh, two bars. Two bars. <laughs> yep. A bus. Yep. And people like right all over the place, so there's lots and lots of graffiti because you know, classy. <laughs> and there's a chicken across the street, if you care. There so, you go. Yep. All you right. hear it? There it was. So, all right. So um, that's it. We're all done with this adventure. So check us out online, OrlandoBites.com. We love you.